And of course you need to disconnect battery. Glow plugs are here. Connected with one loom and 10 mil socket to undo nuts that hold this loom and when connecting wire so you take the loom off it's a 12 mil socket to undo glow plaques first one go easily and no and maybe you will need to lubricate this also to the end it was a little bit tighter so do it And do this to all of those. Now you can test it. Beeps. That means that it's okay. And it's 11 volts. That means you can check it on the battery. So ground from battery goes to the body of the glow plug and plus goes to this connector. And it starts to heat it up. That means that it's working because sometimes glow plug can break inside and at the end of that rod can connect with the body of the glow plug and then it shows that it's working with the tester but in reality it's not next glow plug Undo and then tight a little bit and in that way and also lubricate. I don't know, closer to the end. <laughs> they all make this noise. And I think I'm gonna leave this glow plug in place just for now. So now glow plug from cylinder 3 and it shows that it's working but it doesn't glow in like the previous one. I mean, it's getting hot, but not red. It's getting hot, but not very much. Not enough. Not much heat from this glue plug. But not on every engine, you can check them on the battery. Because some of them are 4 volts. And you need to pay attention. The voltage. This is 11, so you can check it. And I want to check this in this way, just to know how it hits. Because as you can see, even if the tester shows that uh, glow plugs are okay, in reality, they are not producing so much heat that you need to start the engine. And this may lead to the situation 
when to start the engine is a little bit difficult. And after you start the engine, you have some blue or white smoke coming out from the exhaust pipes. This one maybe needs to lubricate more. And maybe even hit the engine a little bit, warm up, then only try to undo all the way. Okay. I will We'll spray it with penetrating grease. I'll try again later to undo this glue plug because closer to the end of the treat, it begins to jam a little bit. So. This is it. I put everything back on and then I pour some penetration oil on the glow plugs, on the placement of the glow plugs and start the engine and warm it up. New glow plug. And let's do the test ground to the body and plus it's glowing. Nice. And that's what I'm talking about. That's the way it should be. Glowing to the red like peppers. Well, I must say that on hot engine it's better to do this on hot one and i think this glow is also working not very nice okay check nope not going red a little clean. So quick check. And it's not turning red at all. So that means it's not very good. Cylinder four. We will see. Just don't be afraid. And I repeat that the engine is hot. I clean it and test. glow plug in cylinder one was glowing red with a test on the battery and other three was not much was heated but not much and with two of them in cylinder two and four i have some small struggle when i undo them in the end they start to jam just a little bit so i decided to go with the candle wax and some lubrication some lubrication in there and put back on all that stuff of wires then heat it up engine and then try to undo them again and they go easily on hot engine that's it. Mm.
and I'm going to say that this one from is more like original one than the Bosch. As you can see. And also finishing on the surface is way better than on this one. So I go with this gold box. And this one is made in India and this is Slovenia. And how they will be glowing. Nice. So Iskra goes with nuts on the terminal of the glow plug. Not like original ones, but if you lose one of this, here you go for free almost. Clean all of these holes. The glow plugs will treat. Put some grease on the glow plugs, copper or ceramic. All new glow plugs in place, ready to tie them up. I always try to tie it with torque ratchet at once. I mean, without stopping the ratchet when I torque down the glow plugs or any bolts. So, in that way, I can get more precise and correct tightening torque. Glow plugs in place, connections in place and ready to go. Just put back battery terminal in place. 